Hey guys, it's Duckdish. I'm back with a new video. Um, so I have gotten a lot of questions of how I set up my OBS uh, settings, not the scenes and the sources, but the settings, what my settings are in order to get a lag free and smooth stream. So I'm going to show that now. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it, how, how my is done. And let's go through this. The first page is like nothing important. So we just head through the stream. The first thing you should consider is what server you want to stream to. I live in Denmark. And even though that Stockholm and Frankfurt is my, uh, is the two countries and servers with the best routing. I actually found out that Paris is the server that I got the best routing to. So I'm streaming via Paris. I'm gonna link a I'm gonna link a description to a Twitch test you can run. Um, but for me, Paris is the best. Um, so I chose Paris. Maybe you have a better routing to another server, but in the end, OBS is like try and find out. Like try Stockholm. If it's not good, try Frankfurt. Try Amsterdam. Try try Paris, and see what works for you. Okay. And this is your stream key. You're gonna find your stream key in uh, in settings on the Twitch, and it says stream key, uh, and you can just copy paste it. So streaming, I use NVENC, which is my graphic card. Uh, if you choose X264, that is your CPU. I have an i5 6000K, which is not meant for streaming. Uh, so I chose the graphic card, uh, also because I play CS:GO mainly, which is a CPU-based game. If you play a CPU, a CPU based game and you stream via the CPU, you can see that's a lot of pressure on your CPU. So that's why you should consider using your graphics card because you won't use that for a lot of stuff. Um, and here I have rescaled the output for 1280, uh, 720 because if you run the highest resolution, that's gonna you know put a lot of pressure on, on your CPU and your GPU, which will cause like this laggy, laggy screens for, for your viewers. Also, you should consider only the highest resolution if you have a an insane CPU or if you do use a dual PC setup. CBR 4500 bitrate. Beforehand, Twitch recommended maximum 3500 for partners, uh, but now they changed the server so that you, you should run between 3000 and 6000. Um, if you are a non-partner, I think you should consider just going like 3,500, 4,000. Otherwise, if you're a partner, you probably know how to use OBS, but 4,500 or 5,000 is good. Again, experiment uh, and see what works. I could probably push this, but I know that 4,500 is a really good spot for me. And at some point, I might try to push it for 5,000 and see if that works. Keyframe 2, preset high quality. I have everything to high quality, so it looks good for you guys. Profile high, level auto, and that's it. Audio. Use your 48K Z kilohertz stereo. This is my earphones. This is my microphone. That's it. Moved. Video. This is the base resolution. 920. Don't change that. You should still uh, output this so that you get 1280, like I said before. This is what your viewers see. Like, right? Okay. And downscale filter, you can choose a lot. Langsos is the highest one you can choose. This gives you a, this removes some of the pixelation. This, you, I think you should choose Langsos because this will like be less pixelated. This is the best like sample you can choose. And then I have 60 FPS. You can put more than 60 FPS. Again, experiment. 60 FPS, I can, I can use that. So if you can, you should use it. FPS is how smooth it looks. Uh, if you can run 60 FPS, do it. If not, try 45, try 30, try 40, see what works. As I said before, OBS is really, really experiment based. You need to find out what works for you. And advance, process priority above normal. Um, I got this, like, this is like default settings and this is your stream delay. You can enable it and put like whatever you want. Remember that Switch has, has a, uh, 50 seconds, 15 seconds of the uh, like normal delay on, which means if you put 50 here, it's going to be 30. I have like zero, so I have only 50 seconds delay, 15 seconds delay on because I interact a lot with my viewers. Guys, basically, this is it. I have one more tip. If you go down here in CS and you choose the CSGO, you can right click on this or H1C1 or LOL or Dota, whatever you play, and you can go to scale filtering and choose lengths here as well. This will, this will also remove some of the pixelation. Um, and this is the settings I run. 
if you I have like I have an i5 6600 CPU and I have a 680 GTX. If your specs are better than me, I I recommend running these settings. And if your specs are worse than me, maybe lower the bitrate a bit, maybe lower the FPS a bit. Bitrate is also your internet connection. Like I have 50 uh, 5010, I run 4500 bitrate. If you have like shitty internet you should run lower bitrate. If you have like 50-50 or 100-100, you should maybe go 5,000 or 4,500. Again, experiment. It's, it's about finding out what you should use and what you shouldn't use. Um, this is basically it. There's nothing much other to say uh, other than like try these settings and see if they work for you. If not, lower them. If they do, use them. I recommend these settings. You guys might have seen my stream and and it runs smooth, the pixelation is good, you won't get this clear view. Like, I guess you have seen Shroud Stream or Hiko Stream, they have this insane clear view, that's because they run dual PC stream, they run like the highest resolution, the highest bitrate, because they can they can with dual PC streaming. So, so, I mean, try these settings and if you like them, and they work, remember to subscribe, remember to like, uh, and I'm gonna, you know, Put the Twitch test down in the description. Okay, guys. See ya.